Okay, so this video is meant to replace my last video um, on this subject. Um, I went to grab a save file off my EMS cartridge today and rather than watch my own video, because I haven't done this in a while, I went to try and find Chainsaw Police's um, EMS cartridge guide for Mac and I tried to find the website and it was dead. So it's only available on the Wayback Machine for now. Yeah, it might come back up, I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be a much better video than my last one, because the last one was quite frankly terrible. <clears throat> so, um, a lot of people were confused by the last video, um, whether you had to compile the program yourself or just download it as a binary. Um, you actually can just download it, which is great, and the commands are really quite simple. So, ignore all of this guide all the way down. You don't need step one at all. You just need to download. So you can click download and it'll take you to here, lackluster.net forward slash projects forward slash EMS dash flasher. So you can download it here. See EMS dash binary, sorry, EMS dash flasher 0.03 dash binary for Mac OS 10.6. This will work from 10.6 up. Um, so download it. Um, then go into your downloads folder. Let's see here. Then we just unzip it. Um, rename the folder. Make sure you get rid of the extension on the end because you don't want that doc six on the end. So EMS, <coughs> just so it's easier to type in the terminal. Um, bring up your terminal. Plug your EMS cartridge into a USB port. And so let's change directory. So that's CD downloads. And then we can list uh, whatever's in the downloads folder. So that's ls. And you can see here we've got ems, which is the folder that we've just renamed. So let's change directory to ems. And you can clear the screen by holding Control and L. Um, it's just you know cleaner that way. So um, we can do. So you see here in the guide it says running it. If you just scroll to that, it actually tells you how to run it on this guide here. It's fairly simple. I mean, James or Police Guide goes slightly more in depth and um, explains what everything does here, but I'm going to do this in the video as I go. So, um, I need to grab my save file off the cartridge because I'm doing a collab at the moment with Jewel. Um, you should go check out his music. I'll put a link to his uh, micro collective profile and SoundCloud in the description. Um, so, I want to grab my save. So, if we do dot slash, which keeps us in the same directory, EMS dash flasher, which is the binary file in this directory then we're going to use a flag which is read so dash dash read and then you give it the file name that you want so let's do lsdj for dual dot sab so press enter and if all goes well so that works we can try this again because that wasn't very helpful to us. So if you press up, that'll bring up the command again. And then if we do verbose, that will give you a text output. So trying to find EMS cart, claim EMS cart, base address is blah, saving to the file name that we just typed. So then successfully wrote um, 131,072 bytes into the file name. So if we look in the EMS folder, then we've got lstj for jewel.slab which is 131 kilobytes, which is exactly what it tells us, more or less. Anyway, so now we've got the save file. Um, say I wanted to back up my cartridge, I'd probably also want to grab the, um, the ROM file, because that would make sense, right? So if we do read again, dash dash verbose again, so we know what's going on, and then you do bank one, so that keeps it in the first lot of 32 um, M. So it's a 64 M cartridge, there are two lots of 32 M, so you'll want to grab you know, wherever your ROM is saved. So in this case, we're going to do the first lot of 32 M, which is bank one, and then I'll just do SDJ uh, dual. Anyway, so press enter. This one takes a little more time because uh, ROM files are a lot larger than save files, so I might speed this video up slightly here. 
And there we go, so it wrote that many bytes to sdjjaw.gb. And you can see here, um, it's written out. So that's the end of the video. Hope it's less confusing than the last one.